Have you forgiven your mother and father? What's your name? Megan. Megan. Yes. Are you married to the prince? <laughs> no. Oh, thank God. I was about to say. He's older than I am. Who, the prince? No, this guy. I know. <laughs> oh, he's older than you? Yes. Good. And so have you gone and forgiven your father and mother? Mother and um, father? I know. Kind of with the same thing. I've been very blessed and fortunate that my we I have a great relationship with both of my parents. Um, but... The, I think I would kind of follow after him where he says I wouldn't know exactly like what to, you know, what I would think about what it would be that I would forgive them for. Okay. So your mother, so they're, are they together now? Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Yes. And your mother was perfect in raising you? She made no mistake? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, she... I mean, I, I don't know. I try. I don't. I know. I don't. I don't know how to. Uh, yeah, don't that, make up anything. I'm just asking. She made no mistake. There's nothing about her that you wish you would stop doing or would not have done. No, not that I can think of. She was perfect. She, I mean, she was a great mother. Yes. She was she is. perfect? She, no, nobody's perfect. What well, What was imperfect about her? Um. So I mean. She's a smoker. That's what I. That's what I could probably pinpoint. Think like, uh, luckily that was something I didn't take after yeah. them. But they're, you know, they do kind of have a unhealthy lifestyle. If that has anything to do with it. But, I mean, when it comes to like setting ex- an example for me, I mean, she was great. And so the only thing that was imperfect about her that she smoked. That I can remember. She's a yeller too. She is a yeller. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? But like when she, you know, she gets impatient. So, you know, when you have two little kids that are 14 months apart, driving you nuts. Yeah. But. And so she would yell at you, at you guys? Oh, yeah. And how did you feel about her yelling at you? I think as kids, like, we would just kind of gang up on her and laugh at her. <laughs> as bad as that sounds, but, you, you know, like it's kind of like. yell? Like, yeah, mama yelling. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am so happy. Yeah. This is love. Yeah. <laughs> so you liked it when she yelled at you? No. You did not like it? No. Why not? I mean, it makes you feel bad. It I you... would feel guilty, I think, like when she would yell and then I realized, oh, she, she's ticked. So yeah. now I feel bad. <laughs> so. The Pope and tick. Yeah. <laughs> so you would feel bad when she would yell at you? Yeah. Did you tell her that? No. Why not? I guess that's something I could forgive her for. But why haven't you told already? I don't know. I'm not sure. Are you afraid to tell her that? No. Your fiance said yes. No. <laughs> no. Thank you. So what would happen if you went to her today after church and said, you know what? I'm sorry for resenting you for yelling at me. It used to make me feel bad and I didn't like it and you did it anyway. I'm sorry for resenting you. What do you think she would? She you, would beat herself up. Like she's one of those people that say, I'm sorry so much. It's like, you know, you'll, you'll say something. She's like, I'm sorry. It's like, stop apologizing. But like she, if I, if I said something like that to her, she would, she would beat herself up and just, she would take that to the grave that uh, knowing that as a kid, you know, when she would yell at me, it, but I mean, I think that would be. Is that a reason not to go and forgive her because she may take it and trip out? No, because I guess, I guess at the end of the day, that would be her problem for taking it that way, yes. right? So. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you, do you yell? Oh Yeah. You're just like your mother. I just, and sometimes I like the, my short temper, like with my dog, you know, if yeah. it's like he's driving me nuts, I'm, you know, you just yeah. kind of like, but. So are you surprised you became like her? No. And why not? Because um, they do say the nut doesn't fall far from the tree, right? So. Who said that? <laughs> this, this saying. Oh. But, uh, you, you know. You want to be like her? Um, when it comes to raising kids, yeah, you know, but like. You want to yell at your kids? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, I definitely want to take a different approach to when it comes to raising kids. And why? Um, you know, she, both my parents worked, my mom worked three jobs as a kid, you know, with my dad, like trying to, you know, provide a good life for us. And so she, you know, we were with the babysitter a lot after the school. So, you know, that would be one thing that I hope. Why don't you want to yell at your kids, like your mother yelled I mean, at you guys? I don't think you get very far with that. Like looking at some of how, how some of my friends raise their kids and how yeah. patient they are and you talk to them like they're adults and, 
you know, you get a different outcome. Your mother has three jobs? She did. Is she Jamaican? No. <laughs> no. Oh, no. You're looking mighty white to me. <laughs> yes, I am. Um, um, you got to go and face her. Yeah. Because if you don't, when you guys have kids, you're going to do the same thing. Yeah. And your kids are going to feel exactly the way you feel, feel and felt about it. Yeah. And they're going to be traumatized. Yeah. And you got to go and forgive her. I recommend you go and forgive her so you can overcome her. Yeah. And you'll be yourself and you wouldn't treat your kids and your husband in that way. Right. Yeah. I learned a lot from him too. Like, you know, I, I would say she's a reactor. So I think that that's why I'm a reactor is because of, of course. her. But he's so patient and things that I would typically react and I'm just like, oh, not everything deserves a reaction. Right on. So. Go and forgive your mother before you get married and before you have babies because you will traumatize them. You will not be able to help yourself. <laughs> and if you try to avoid traumatizing them, you will spoil them. You would be too nice, and that would traumatize them as well. Yeah. Will you go and forgive her? I will. And she's going to freak out. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She oh. probably will. She'll yeah. be like, oh, yeah, so, I'm sorry. Right, and why she's freaking, don't say, oh, that's okay, Mom. I love you. Don't say that because you don't love her. You will love her when you forgive her. But if she's, like, freaking out, just look at her freaking out. <laughs> and like, wow, this is a good movie. She's freaking because all she's trying to do is draw you back in. She just doesn't want to see herself. And so she's using you to prevent seeing herself. And the best thing you can do for her, let her act out. Don't try to soothe her. Don't pat her on the back. Just let her freak out. All right? All right. You forgive her, and God will forgive you. And don't say, oh, Mom, I love you. Don't freak. Because you want her to take a look at herself, and that might cause her to do it. Yeah. What do you think about that? That's true. She might check herself and be like, hmm, yeah. I shouldn't react so She may, it may be down the road later, but at least you would be free so that you could start a new generation. Yes. You won't screw up your kids. Right. Are you going to have tree jobs too? No. Oh, will blame no. you. If you have children, make your husband work. Stay home with the kids. Yes. Will you stay home with the kids? Yes. And you don't mind? No. Are you educated? I'm not, actually. Oh, good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody said that there are no ladies in California. <laughs> Real women in California. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't find her in California. No, he didn't. Oh. Yeah. That was, that was fun. That might be right. <laughs> where, where did you get her from? Uh, she's originally from Florida, but I got her in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, nice. The other woman. I know, I know what's up. I know what's up, Jesse. Yeah. So what? I said, I know what's up with California girls. That's right. Maybe they don't have any here. <laughs> there are some. There are some. Uh, how about your father? What do you need to forgive him for? Oh. I don't know. Like, I always, like, I always wanted a man that, like, kind of took after my father that could fix things and which is finally I found him right. after 35 years but um I don't know like it's that's something that I would have to so when you were growing up he didn't about. know how to fix anything no my dad did that's what I'm saying like oh he, you want yeah. someone like that mm -hmm. okay yeah like a good handyman like a hard worker and oh good so, so you're close to him yes that's good mm -hmm. well forgive your mother life would be paradise Yes. And when you guys get married, you have your little issues, but it wouldn't be a big deal because God is with you. Right. But if you don't, it's going to be hell to pay. Right. All right. Any questions about anything? No. Had you, have you seen any of my shows or anything? Yes. And so when you first saw them, what was your first impression? I loved it. Oh, really? I feel like you tell you it like it is. You a good one, man. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Yes. <laughs> So no sex before marriage, all right? Oh. Uh. Too late. <laughs> Isn't that too late? Too late. Too late. Yeah. We can all start. We can so what starting, now? Starting today. Yeah, cut it out. <laughs> really, if you cut it out and just wait until marriage, work out these little issues, I'm telling you, man, it's going to be amazing. Because then you get married under the umbrella of God instead of in hell. So actually, when I met her, you know, I, I'd, I'd been here, and, and I told her, I said, you know, no sex before marriage. 
and so um, so we waited we could, waited a month, but she 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 won me over and uh -huh. we got weak. <laughs> the moment got you weak, said Jesse. no sex before this marriage, guy, this guy was telling me too right here. Don't do it. Yeah. The moment you said no sex before marriage, you're like, that was you think. <laughs> <laughs> it always works like that. Never tell a woman no sex before marriage. Just don't do it. Because you tempted her to draw you in there. That become like a mission. Oh, come on over, honey. I have some fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and you walk in the house, that food smells like so good. And the wine on the table. Next thing you know, you're in bed with a chicken thigh. <laughs> but don't do it anymore. Really, for both of you, I recommend you don't. You got to be right and do right for things to work out. You really do. Otherwise, Satan is your daddy and it's not going to work. It's just a reality. But to love one another is to do it the right way. Be right. And that way God will bring you together and no one can tear it apart. No one or no spirit or anything. That makes sense? Yeah. So don't say no sex. Don't say I'm not having sex. Just don't do it. All right? If she makes you a nice meal, oh, that meal was good. Thank you. All right, I gotta go now. <laughs> All right? So we, we, we started living together when she moved out. So should I get a separate apartment? Are you living together now? Yeah. You have two bedrooms? Uh, we do. One's the office. Can you sleep in the office? When is the wedding? Uh, January 23rd. Oh, are you able to sleep apart until then? That'd be tough. That'd be tough. Well, maybe you should move out. <laughs> what do you think? Um. Is that making your heart beat fast? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> well, I did tell him. I'm like, I'm not, you know, it was, it was a, you know, when his business is here. So it was only a matter of time. Like, okay, well his business is here. So I knew that it would be a matter of me having to move to California if I wanted to be together. But I told him, I'm like, I'm not moving unless there's a ring on my finger. You said what now? I wasn't going to move out here unless there was a ring on my finger. Yes. And, and he, he put, put a put ring, ring on, on it. On. Yeah. And I moved out. If you like what you see, put the ring on it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then you can get what you want. Yes. Don't have sex with him until marriage. <laughs> No, so. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Then I guess he is going to have to sleep in another room. Yeah. <laughs> you will not regret it, really. Oh, I'm because sure. if a man has sex with you before marriage, he's going to cheat on you afterward. Because he doesn't have self control. It's about the sex and not loving the person. Mm. Yeah. And you, <laughs> if you wait, you can trust him no matter what. But if you don't, it's going to be hard to trust him because Satan's going to say, well, he had sex with you before and he's a Christian. What makes you think he's not? And he could be at work. And Satan will convince you he's out having sex. But if you know this guy before marriage, he, he won't do it, then you can trust him. What do you think? That, yeah, that's a tough one. So what now? Um, oh, this is a hard one. That huh? is a hard one. This is harder than having to face mama. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That What's so true. hard about not having sex with him until marriage? He, oh, no. It's, I mean, the thought of like him cheating on me. We don't have sex with him. He will not cheat. We're done. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you because he will, now that he's going to his father, he will develop. He will love what's right. And God will give him the, the know-how, the insight to have self-control. It wouldn't be that important to him. Is Satan telling you, oh, this man going to cheat? <laughs> Don't let Satan tell you. I'm just telling you the right no. way to do it. You know, in the marriage vow, it says that what God brings together, let no man put asunder. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen if you do it the right way. Really. No one can get between it. No other woman, no other man, no other nothing. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Any questions about that? No. Does it make sense? Oh, yeah. And so go forgive your mother. Are you doing the silent prayer? Suffer. Oh, you, you don't know about it? <laughs> no. You're not aware of it. 
on my YouTube channel, there's a silent prayer dot video. I want you to start doing it. Show it to her, right? Yeah, and do it every morning, every night, so that you can come out of your head and say you won't be able to control you. Okay. To, to, to uh, deceive you and make you destroy your relationship and yourself. Okay. All right, give it a try. Okay. All right. Well, any questions about anything? No. Anything I would say that you disagree with? <laughs> no. All right. Now you worried about if he's going to cheat or not? No. Yeah, don't worry about it. You can't control, like, and that's how I think about it, because it's like people are going to do what they're going to do. You can't control it. If he decides to cheat, then that's his problem. Oh, yeah. Easy to say it now. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, <laughs> you know. If he did, it would be our problem. Yeah, that, that, that's true. <laughs> but no, if he forgive his father, you don't have to worry, especially if he can wait until marriage. Mm hmm because a lot of times women can wait. They don't really want sex. They'll do it just to get control of you. But they'll rather have the love. They'll rather have the love of the father rather than the sex. But they'll do it, you know, just to control you. It's like you'll smoke a joint if you're at somebody's house, but you don't want it. You kind of do it to be nice. But don't worry about him. <laughs> All right, forgive, I mean, forgive your mother, deal with her, deal with your father, and it'll be fine. Got it. Okay? Yep. All right. We need your support. Uh, I'm asking all of you to donate, so we got a lot of work to do. And uh, I really appreciate your support. We're on the radio every day, Monday through Friday, jlptalk.com. We have the best counseling service on this side of heaven. Really, the best. So if you need counseling, by phone or Skype or come in, come into the office. Call the 800 number, 800-411-BOND for counseling service.